What is going on guys and good morning my name is Hugh. We are going to be fixing the fender on the car which is the front uh, fender that's been bent since about a year maybe a year and a half ago where I hit the deer and it damaged my uh, factory headlight too. I haven't had the chance to do it in a while because I got so busy with obviously Project Betty and work and other stuff so finally have time to be able to put some work into this fender and it's been literally sitting here for a year and a half and I feel so stupid for not working on this thing but we're going to be taking care of that today and I'm also going to show you guys how you can put that fender back on your car so it is currently like 7 30 in the morning so I got to get to the body shop and drop that off um, then we'll transition to when we throw this thing back on the car I also got two more mods coming in as well and we're going to be throwing those on the car too today without further ado let's get today started They're nice. What the heck is that? I don't know what that is. Maybe you guys can figure that out. It is a Ferrari. It's really hard to see it behind the tree there, but it is a Ferrari. And then you got, oh, that's not a Ferrari. Then you got this guy right here, whatever that is. And you got that guy, and then you got this guy. I don't know what this thing is. It's really hard to see it, but... Oh wait, maybe I'm moving. Oh. Well, if you can kind of see it, I don't know what the heck it was. Let me know. It's some kind of Ferrari. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he? Ow! Ow, my ears. Let me go ahead and head back over to the garage, and then uh, we'll put that fender back on. Well, by the time you're seeing this, the fender will be already painted and you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, so it's actually a week and a half later. Um, I really wanted the fender to fully cure, fully dry before I can even put it on the car, um, which means I couldn't put wax on it. Um, I couldn't buff it or anything if it needed to be buff. So I waited a little bit. Um, I kept it safe in the little in the uh, original box that it came in here. And we're about to put that on tonight as well. But I also got two brand new sets of LED light bulbs for these headlights. I've been looking around for a really nice pair. And I think I found the best one for your budget and also the best one for your quality too. So this is the first set right here. This is going to be an ice blue color um, for the main daytime running or uh, main he low beam headlight. These headlights take H1 bulbs, and this is an H1 bulb. The other one has an H3, but it's got the exact same cable to hook up to the H1 uh, connector. So we'll see if that works or not. Hopefully it does. But you got an ice blue for your main low beam or daytime running light right here. And in this unmarked box from a totally different brand, but it's kind of the same exact bulb layout, um, is a purple or violet color. And I think this color combo is gonna be really, really clean especially since these uh, strip lights are white and that just little offset of blue it's like a pastel blue uh, ice blue and then you got this really nice like light purple or violet color oh man it's gonna look so good if you guys have h1 bulbs go check these out i'll leave a link in the description below down there that way, if you guys want to take a look at it, they have other size bulbs. They got H11s, H7s. I think I even saw 9,007 or 9,006 bulbs too. And they're all compatible. They're literally not a full kit. And that's what I didn't want to do is a full $100, $200 kit. Because um, you got this giant, ridiculously sized box that you try to hide in the engine bay somewhere. And I didn't feel like drilling holes in like the housing caps or anything. So I wanted something super easy, super basic and super slick so you won't even know that I have like aftermarket headlights in this car. But anyway, I'm gonna tackle the headlights first since that's the easiest thing to do. Um, and then we'll go ahead and tackle the fender because I gotta look up a tutorial of how to take this thing off. I remember looking it up before, but your boy's a dumbass and I forgot how to do it. So we'll do the headlights first. <laughs>
Now I tried a little something off camera with this little piece here. And uh, unfortunately the piece that comes in these headlights um, doesn't fit this size ball, but check this out. You see that? Shink! That would have not probably fit in there because all I had to do, and I'll show you guys here in a minute with the other one, is I took my little Dremel here and then just kind of shaved in the edges here. Like I basically opened up this little hole a little bit more so I can fit the LED in. And this is aluminum, so it's pretty easy to cut through. Um, I just put on speed two and I just went and then that was it. And I just opened up the little gap there a little bit more. I did try to save the little hole here. Mike, if you can, try to zoom in on that. Yeah, that hole right there, I saved it because if you want to put the original ones back in, um, at least that ball will line up with this little hole here. Okay, you can zoom out, Mike. Thank you. So, pretty easy. Uh, I like that the fact that this was aluminum because I thought it was steel, but this is, this is just cheap aluminum, so. Pretty easy to work with, actually. Let's go pop this back in and test it. But first, we gotta do the other side, too. I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. Now that we got the headlight bulbs in, time to move on to that fender. And it is currently 12 in the morning. So we gotta get that fender on and then uh, we'll see how much of a process that is gonna be. It's gonna be a long night, guys. So I pretty much got everything off. There was like two snaps um, behind the door that were really hard to film. But essentially there was one up here that I just kind of unscrewed with a uh, Phillips head screwdriver um, from the inside of the car. And then there's another one on the bottom where we had to go from the inside as well. And basically this is all it was. Just one of these little things in the inside. So however you want to go about it, um, I just use a long screwdriver to get to the inside. But so far I got everything off and I had to cover the wheels because you can't see that yet. But other than that, uh, this fender is still on, see? Somehow this thing is still on. But I forgot something. You gotta take the freaking wheel off in order to get the fender wider off the thing, you freaking moron. Now I can take it off, because you gotta get this and this off, and then there's that guy. Where is that guy? There's two, in case you guys didn't know, there's two hidden bolts underneath where the frame is. So I didn't know that, but they were covered in like the, the bed cover stuff, whatever it is. But yeah, there's a bolt there and then there's a bolt right there where my finger is. 
that's also holding it on too. Oof. What a mess. And there she is. I got it off maybe about two hours later and it's like two in the morning. Ugh. I think the only thing I just realized is that I have to pull it, make fresh holes for the new one. Um, but I can probably temporarily like, tape it on the car until I can have another drill to like... Boosh. Wow, look at that. Looks like the exact same thing, doesn't it? Nothing's different except for... A little bit of a dent right there, but you know what? You're probably wondering, well, yeah, if, even if that's fixable, it's hard to see. Here, let me... So you'd think that that would be fixable. It's actually not. Because trying to den, uh, unbend it from here is going to be very, very dif difficult and very, very expensive. But yeah, I did talk to him like a year ago. Because I've had this fender unpainted for like a year and a half. And I just never touched it. And I was supposed to fix it. And I never fixed it. And I'm fixing it right now. But I did talk to him about it. And unfortunately, this is going to be more of, a more of a job and more of an expensive task than it is to just paint a new one. This is probably going to be the hardest part to re-bend back. If it was anywhere else on it, yeah, it'd be easier... But since it's like right on the end, yeah, it's it's it was really difficult to get done. So it's still two in the morning. I gotta get this thing done, and then we'll be done for the night. So it is the next day uh, everything lined up pretty good now this was a little finicky I did do this until like 3 in the freaking morning so I apologize if I didn't film everything but it is pretty easy to get this fender off the only issue was aligning it um, I am a little off here if I can move this thing away um, it's a little off there but that's okay it's not gonna sit perfect it did scratch up my door a little bit because this gap wasn't as big as it was now I did adjust this so it doesn't have a weird uh, gapping problem but every time I'd open this door it dent up my door here and it's something it had something to do with in here there was some kind of like panel that was in too far or something but I, I don't know but just now I was able to like readjust it. So now this gap is even all the way around here. This lines up too, so there's no weird gap there. Up here, I did use a washer here to kind of help realign the headlight a little bit. And it did fix it quite a bit. So now this tucks in the headlight instead of that weird dent that was here before that was holding this thing out like this or pushing it out further. It was all sorts of wacky, trust me. But overall, we have a brand new repainted fender and it looks super, super sick. I'm just so happy of how that turned down. Really stressful. If you guys ever do this yourself, it is stupid stressful to get all this like taken off for the first time and realigning it and blah, 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 blah. That's why I said it took me three in the morning where I had to cut the camera and then I was like, all right, I gotta focus on this. I can't, I can't screw around anymore. Um, but since we got all that stuff fixed up, bulbs are in, fenders back on. Where, where's the old one anyway? Oh yeah, there, what? nope, there it is. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I might. I might toss it out or something or keep it as like a memorial <laughs> yeah yeah like that's gonna be a good memorial oh look i hit a deer mm, that's a good memory right there anyway so let's go ahead and throw this bumper back on and uh close everything up and let's showcase this bad boy All right, look at that. That is cool. That looks super, super sick. And now again, these aren't the brightest bulbs. You can definitely get way brighter bulbs than these. But man, look at that color combo. That beautiful like violet or whatever you want to call it, violet. You know, it looks pink on camera though. The white LED strip and a nice icy blue low beam. That looks super sick. It's like, I don't know what it is, but purple, blue, and white like something like that color combo just looks super clean to me i, I don't know what it is it's it's not a very harsh color to look at damn look at that lens flare holy crap am i blinding you guys yet are you guys getting blinded 
Are you guys getting blinded yet? And these aren't like terrible bulbs either. So if I come around here, that, what the heck? That looks like the weirdest Batman suit sitting, uh, whatever. These are actually decent bulbs. These things can go all the way to that sign that's out there. They're not stupid bright. They're just bright enough so you can at least see the road. And that's the whole thing about this experiment here uh, is to see what, you know, what this would look like. So if you guys want a set of these bulbs, I will leave a link in the description below. Oh my God, I am blinding you guys and I apologize. I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys wanna get these balls for yourself. They do have other sizes, so you can choose whatever you want down there. I'll leave the Amazon link and the eBay link down there below. So you can choose whatever one, depending on how much you wanna spend. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I actually like it a lot. <laughs> Just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a before and after, here's a before picture before we did anything to the headlights, before we did any bulbs or whatever. This is just the standard halogen bulb that came with the headlights. Now let's move over to the new setup. Bam, thank you, Mike. That, compared to what we had before, looks super stylish, super clean, and it looks really good on the road too. Other than that, we got a brand new fender, brand new headlight setup, She's looking super awesome. We're almost there doing the full restoration on this car. I really wanna like fix some of the like imperfections of like scratches and dents on this car. I got one dent in the over in the uh, quarter panel that I gotta fix. And as my goal this year is to completely fix up this car, you know, paint wise mostly, um, so that she looks super clean. But anyway, if you guys learned anything from this video, be sure to give it a There's a bug flying around in my crotch fat thumbs up i hope you guys have a good rest of the week and i'll see you goons i almost poked my eye out on that one later